Hey YouTubers, we have another fun day playing with the Diacro Bender. Today we're going to bend using a radius block. So we'll go ahead and set that up right now. This is our radius block. This one happens to be a 132nd radius. And if you drop it in the first hole, you can rotate it around till this hole lines up. And there it is. Okay, we're going to use some uh, eighth inch wire. Um, you can use any size wire. It's the setup's all the same. The only difference is I have a bunch of this and it's cheap because it's free. So you're using your locking pin. Obviously it's not going to lock. So I've made this piece and what that does is it just widens it. You can make a ring that goes around here or whatever. I just did this because I figure I'll have another extra side for uh, some different material instead of having to make a whole nother ring or something. So there it is. It locks in real well. So, okay. That's all set up. About three inches will be where our bend will be. Let's call it right there, kind of eyeball it. Okay, we're set up there. Okay, we'll bring our nose in. Let's put it there. Um, if you leave your nose way out wide, it tends to, it may warp the piece a little. Might not make the bend right. If you get too close, you're going to drag it around the corner and that'll deform the um, the, di the diameter of the piece you're making. It'll Basically, it'll just scrape off a part of it and it'll flatten it. So you can play with it, see how you come up with it. Okay, so we need to put the stop in, and what, I, what I'd what like is uh, something I've done, is I've cut this off, and I end up flipping them upside down. I like a tighter groove on the top versus this wide groove. If you take your washers, this is a Diacro washer. I don't know if they still use these, but they... If you tighten them a little too tight, they snap in half. And especially on these, because it's real wide, so it tends to just deform them and then they pop and crack. They're not pressed, so a good pressed washer, um, a real thick one, would be much better than that. Those are just junk. So, okay, let's do a test bend and figure out approximately where... I'm going to go past 90 a little bit, and I'm going to say right about there. That looks pretty darn close. At this point, I'm going to drop these in. And we'll have to probably readjust it a little bit, but let's see. It was, I think about there, that's where it was. So we'll check square. And we are eighty seven and a half degrees. So we gotta go about two and a half degrees to get it to 90. You know, let's go about there. Okay, let's lock it down. Yeah, if it's within a, depending on your tolerances. 
Okay, let's see. Let's put another one in. Okay, I have about one more degree to go, but I'm not going to worry about it on this just because this is <clears throat> a demo. <laughs> and that's close enough. Okay, so that's pretty good. We're going to run them now. Go ahead and run four of them. Hey guys, if you like this video and you want to see more, go ahead and uh, let me know. Um, also, give me a like and uh, subscribe. That way, I uh, if I see a lot of people subscribing, I'll keep making them.